start it over. Go. Okay, Paul. So we talked before about uh, making sure that the push rod tubes were on before we put the exhaust on. What a pain in the ass that was going to be, right? So you can see here, we still have all the push rod tubes off. Um, the base nuts are started. We haven't tightened anything down just yet, but the exhaust is on and locked down. But the only thing we need to do is just open these eight L clamps here and put that over the center portion. No big deal. Now comes the fun part. How do you get the push rod tubes in? This is the argument you and I were having. So this is a fancy little tool. I love this thing and it makes our life so much simpler. So what we do is we're just going to compress the spring here very simply. And then we're going to take the tool and you line up like so and you will notice it goes ever so smoothly kind of sort of maybe into uh, the spot there we are and then we just give it a little push and whoop voila look at that it's so and then we just line it up there now we're going to take um because i have lost my wrench hold on hold on i know where i had it i had it uh, here let's put it all right, so now we just take our little fancy dancy wrench and uh, let's get an extension real quick. Make life so much simpler. Nice long extension, here we go. And then we release the spring tension. And Dan, just kind of keep an eye on that, make sure that seats properly. And all we're doing is we're just letting the spring tension off of it right now. And once it gets to a point where we can just lift away and you can see it sitting in the place there and up here at the head of the cylinder head we are seated properly let's just take a little bit more of that spring tension off and it looks pretty loose right there so it's nice and loose we pick up and voila there we go now is so yes good that is good all right so now we need to finish this One push rod, and I get some oil because this is dirty. This is dirty. Right. Uh, here we are. Yes, 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 yes. That's good. So get a little bit of clean up the push rod. Give that a touch of oil. Let me give that a little bit more touch of oil. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, there we go. Nice and smooth. Okay. Don't polish it too much. It's my rod, right? All right, push rod goes right in there. Voila. Works like so. Okay, let's make sure this is in the correct place. It is. Good. Press uh, washer for this one. Right there. Got it. All right. You can see the thrust washer is already in that one. We take this, we get this started, goes right in there. If I can get the damn thing aligned, there she goes. And you'll notice we got our caps on the bottom, so we're good to go there. All right, so those caps are in. And we've got it started. Take one thrust washer, in we go. And I shot too quickly. <laughs> it was a pretty much short shot. She said. Okay, hold on. We need to align that somehow. Something small. Yeah. You know, this isn't exactly the glowing recommendation of procedure. Come on. <clears throat> Don't make fun of the chef before you sample the cuisine. Come on. All right, what's wrong with you now? I think I've already earned the right. And... and it's not difficult, it's just, it's an alignment problem. All right. Huh, gotcha. Done. Furniture. Thrust washer installed. Push rod tubes in. One screw. 
All right, there we go. Okay. That's it. All right, the only thing remaining at this point, uh, what did I do with it, Brad? The only thing remaining at this point is going to be to finish torquing down the base nuts. And as we do, everything will just kind of squeeze in together, go right where it belongs. We'll get all the torque values in. Complete with rocker arms, no headaches. Okay, fewer headaches than trying to get the base nuts on there for the exhaust. But the exhaust is firmly in place. And we should be able to repeat this process again uh, using the spring compression tool. Go all the way around the entire engine. Just get everything put in and we're in business. So, that proves my theory. Now you know. Now you can employ it if you're crazy enough to. Because God knows, I don't know if I'm willing to do it a second time.